Hey Raw Stars, it's me Tiffany Roth and for this week's episode of Tiffany Talks, we are going grocery shopping. That's right, I'm taking you with me um, to the grocery store so that you can see like what I buy, what I think about, how I make my choices and hopefully that'll help you make some better choices in the grocery store. So we're gonna grab our little carts, got my cart here and let's do this. We're going into the store. Here we go. All right. <laughs> I'm not like a big foodie, so, you know, a lot of times people are like, Tiffany, talk about the food. You know, I just kind of, I eat to survive, I eat to survive. <laughs> all right, so when we go to the grocery store, they always have like all of this like pre-cooked foods over here. Check this out. I just keep going. <laughs> I don't even buy that stuff because I like to know what's in my food. So here's my favorite section though. And I like to do the fruits and vegetables. So mangoes, and I like to kind of go seasonal. So these are, are this is a great breakfast. Sometimes I just slice up the mangoes for my girls and they should be like kind of soft, like a little bit soft, not too hard. Um, and you know, I lived in Mexico where they have the best mangoes ever. And these are on sale for 99 cents. Woo, I'm gonna get a lot because we fight over the mangoes. <laughs> okay, so next up we have the oranges. Um, I like these tangelos, which is actually a hybrid, and they're saying like, you know, maybe you're not supposed to have hybrid fruits, and there's sometimes I don't like to eat hybrid fruits, and what that means is that it's not a fruit in its natural state, it's actually been mixed with something else, so it's like a tangerine and an orange, and you know, they say, oh, you should stay with the natural one, so sometimes I abide by that and sometimes not, but we like tangelo, so we're gonna get some because they're nice and sweet and juicy, and the next question is, do we do organic or not organic? So there's some foods that I absolutely always buy organic, and there's some that I can kind of save the money, so if it has a thick skin, um, and if some of the like pesticides and stuff won't really reach the fruit like at least in my opinion Then I don't necessarily have to buy organic so for the mangoes or for a tangelo or something like that or a banana But I did find and it's really true that organic tastes better So when you have the extra money to splurge go organic Here we go. We're gonna get some oranges This is always a hard decision once we get in the organic uh, section. I'm going to tell you why. Because you go over here for the non-organic and it's like, it's always cheaper. Look, the non-organic apples are 99 cents. But think about this. Your kids bite directly into the apples or I bite directly into the apples. It's kind of hard to cleanse it unless you're going to peel the skin off and since the skin is thinner you would think that some of the um, pesticides and stuff can penetrate easier. So I'm going to have to pay double the price for organic over here. So the organic apples are double the price. So instead of maybe let's see five dollars it could cost me ten dollars. Um, but then I'll ask myself do I want to spend five dollars more to keep my food cleaner. And if at all possible, if I can do that, the answer is yes. So I'm going to get organic apples because I wanna keep my food that goes into my body as pesticide free as possible. So, and also the organic ones don't last as long because they don't have as much preservatives and like that kind of like slimy stuff on the coat of them. So you have to take your time to really pick. So um, these are the Gala apples right here. This is one of my favorites. Um, so I like them to be really, really hard. If I can squeeze it at all, mm, no, I don't want it. I want a hard apple. <laughs> okay, so. And then, you know, we do a lot of the snacks with apples and almond butter and sometimes a little crunchy granola over it. it tastes like a candied apple. It's delicious. And my kids love it. And it's a really quick and tasty, crunchy and sweet snack. Okay, so getting the apples here. Um, green apples have less sugar in them but I don't like green apples. 
<laughs> so you know what I mean eating healthy is not about eating foods that you don't like it's about eating foods that you like right so if I have a choice between a red apple or a green apple and I like red I'm gonna choose red I'm eating an apple for God's sake let's get the apple you want right <laughs> okay <laughs> moving on okay so we're still in the fruit section we have tomatoes and I like to buy the vine tomatoes because it seems to me that they're more alive they pick them off of the vine early but look at this okay they pick them off of the vine early but they're still alive so it seems like they'll last a lot longer so I like a firm tomato and then you let your tomato sit out and then they get ripened up so these these are like a little bit soft but like I like them nice and red and juicy and so I'm gonna take this one because they're still firm and um, they haven't gotten too squishy yet because I don't like them when they're soggy so then in a couple days but you have to eat them like when you get your tomatoes you have to get ready to eat them like within a couple of days because then they just they don't taste very good um, the avocados are so expensive that I will go non-organic on the avocados because the skin is so thick um, they don't taste as good but I'll save the little money when I can so I'm not gonna get these little uh, organic avocados I'm gonna get the non-organic ones and I'm gonna get the organic tomatoes you gotta pick and choose your battles pick and choose raw stars okay. okay so here are things I cannot live without our family does not live without broccoli now this is the organic broccoli I always buy organic broccoli because and you can tell the difference you see how skinny the stalks are they're skinnier um, they always put this extra stock which costs makes it cost more but um, it makes the broccoli taste a lot better if you look at the non-organic one let's go over here the stalks are a little bit thicker I don't know if you guys can notice that it's a small difference but for me, it's a big difference on taste. So if it's vegetables, like we're trying to be healthy anyway. So like not all the time can you afford to do organic. And when you can't just bless your food and say all the healthy food is going to go in my body and whatever else doesn't serve me is going to go out. But see, look at this nice thin stock broccoli right here. See the difference? I'm going to get that. All right. And then some other things that I can't live without are fresh cilantro, the green onions. Love these. And um, my greens, I like to get carrots. I do not like to buy those bunny carrots in the bag. I like to buy them with this on them. I know they're real carrots that came out of the ground. And um, there's beets here. I don't do beets too much drama. I just buy them in a can, I can't handle it. And then, so over here, uh, one of my favorite um, is this is chard. I prefer chard over spinach. Look at this beautiful green leaf. I prefer uh, either Swiss chard or rainbow chard over spinach because it's a little firmer and I like the taste better. And then sometimes you can even uh, mix it with collard greens. So we have these collard greens here, which is a thicker leaf, um, but you have to cook these a lot longer and the, twist, the, the chard cooks a lot faster. So you'd have to cook these and then add these in later. And then of course we have our beautiful kale here. Now remember kale is something that you have to massage. You have to run your hands through it and massage it. So I'm going to put all of this stuff in my grocery basket. Okay, so one thing I want you guys to look out for. So, for example, my favorite thing in the world is like when I call Bertram celery salad because my husband makes it. It's um, celery. You just chop up the celery really, really fine. And then you um, add olive oil and uh, vinegar and a little salt and pepper, sometimes some red pepper, and it's absolutely delicious. And it cleans your body out like you wouldn't believe. And sometimes I throw a little bit of the red or orange peppers in there. But now, look, so this celery, which is not organic, is on sale for $1.79. Now, if you go down here, and you can see the difference, the organic celery, see this one? It's, again, the stalks are a little bit thinner. It's $1.99 for, for 20 cents more, I'm going organic. Um, because you have to check it because sometimes they trick you they have you paying more for less so let's get the celery organic celery it is woohoo
<laughs> I'm excited. I love it when I have these little finds. But you guys, try the celery salad. It's bomb.com. Also, I have my food plan uh, that's going to be on sale for you guys soon, as well as... Um, Dun, 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 dun. my food plan I don't even know if it's gonna be ready by the time this video comes out but you guys look for it and the free weekly schedule is coming out too so I got you guys covered with the workouts and the food all right we're gonna keep shopping okay so here we are for the avocados which I like to do avocado toast I like to do um, hard-boiled eggs with avocados but like you don't want them to be like this one you see it no you want them to be a little bit firm but you gotta squeeze them like this one is too soft. If you can see it, it's just too soft. So I like to get it, and this one is too hard. It's kind of like the three bears. So you have to find the perfect um, avocado. It's hard for you guys to see, but you go through here, you squeeze them. This one is like ready today. So if I would eat, buy this avocado, I'd have to eat it today. Um, so yeah, I will eat it today. I think I'll make some avocado toast when I get home. So unless I'm gonna do a big thing of guacamole or something, um, in which case I use these kind of tomatoes because when I lived in Mexico, they always use these tomatoes. Look how pretty this is. Look at all these colors. The fruit and vegetable section is my all time favorite. Can you look at this beauty? It's just beautiful. All of the different colors. This is what the way nature has designed for us to eat. Just have a look at this. Colors, colors, colors. Count colors, not calories. Count colors, not calories. How many calories, how many different colors do you have in your meal each day? You don't want your food to just be like beige or brown. <laughs> you need to think about like, you know, how many different colors do I have? Orange, do I have purple, do I have red? So they have this beautiful like spaghetti swatch, which is amazing. You guys can use this and get a spiralizer and put um, some pasta sauce on top of it and it's awesome and it's like you know doesn't have the same starches as regular pasta and what else do we have over here um, the butternut squash you, this takes a long time to bake but it's really tasty and yummy and when you eat clean yeah you can put some butter on it put some butter and some cinnamon I don't really need that right now but um, and look at these beautiful little asparagus and they're on sale oh my god I used to hate asparagus when I was little like it was a fight in my house but now I like them because I like them when they're thin and crunchy okay so um, should I get some asparagus maybe um, we'll see what makes it to the cart today I love these serrano chilies they're like a thinner chili they're not very spicy and I always get these because I use them for my guacamole Rosie um, in Mexico whom I love very much who worked with us she always put serrano chilies in her guacamole so I put them in mine too so you get if you want a nice guacamole you get this cilantro onions um, avocado and the chiles and I said cilantro yeah and that's it and you mix it all together with a little bit of lemon and you are straight so a lot of times I like to do my pasta with this kind of squash I get the zucchini and I cut it slice it up and make it long wedges and then I put the pasta sauce over it so we're gonna do that and um, maybe I'll make that for you guys one day but you know what I don't really like to cook so like I cook like super fast and I don't make it pretty but we'll see what we can do <laughs> So anyway, so I'm getting some zucchinis and I slice them up and I put like the tomato sauce. I'll show you what kind of tomato sauce that I put them over. Again, I'm a mom on the go. I'm very busy. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm going to show you the fast way to do things. Some people like to cook all day long and prepare. Mm, I don't have time for that. So we got we to gotta make it happen as healthy and as fast as we can. Um, I also love to get these fresh green beans, which I make them kind of crunchy um, with like onions. Uh, onions are also a must in every shopping recipe as well as red onions are great for any salad if you like that um, and artichoke I really don't know how to make that so and then cauliflower my husband likes it I don't um, so I only buy that sometimes <laughs> all right so let's see what's next okay Rostar so now we're in the root section and that's where we have like onions and potatoes and so all the root food so I like to get the roasted red potatoes because um, they don't spike your insulin levels as much and um, 
as the other potatoes so I like to do these like I can either do them like fresh bagel and oregano and a little olive oil uh, drizzled on top or I cut them up small and like fry them in avocado oil and the kids love them um, so I'm gonna get some of these and these potatoes like if my kids want french fries it's better like than going out and buying it with like all kinds of weird oil just get some regular potatoes slice them up and make some french fries and for yourself you can do a baked potato um, in the oven and do that with like a nice piece of fish and what I do mostly is I, I don't do the baked potatoes, I do the yams. And it's so funny, one of my uh, TRFC members, uh, ZV, you know, she, which her name is Zviaga, but she used to hate yams and now she loves them because they're great. They're just so good. They're sweet and I like to put cinnamon and nutmeg on my yams. And actually cinnamon is good because it um, reduces your sugar cravings. So it helps uh, sort of keep your insulin level stable. So when you want to like, if you eat something sweet and you sprinkle a little cinnamon on it, it'll keep you from going like nutso a little bit later, wanting more, 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 more sugar. So I do the yams. I just wrap them in tin foil, put them in the oven, and bake it, and then take it out. Put some cinnamon nutmeg. Bada! It's Christmas. <laughs> All right. And then so you, I always do lots of onions. Um, the white onions are really good uh, for like salsas and stuff like that. The red onions are great for salads and the yellow onions are a little bit sweeter so like if you want to have like a pasta sauce or something like that use the yellow onions i'm no chef now so if you guys have some other tips for me leave them in the comment section i would love to hear it watermelon is my all-time favorite fruit and now research is coming out that you should not eat hybrid fruit that you should have the watermelon with seeds in it which they barely sell like in the stores but um, I don't know I guess it might take me a while to adjust and I'm not gonna buy the watermelon right now because for me they're not in season yet I like to wait a couple more months but look what's coming out oh my god they have peaches but they're a little hard the nectarines are a little hard which means that they've been pre-picked I wait a little bit more till summer these um, tangerines kind of give me the heebie-jeebies. They're good, but it's like, what's up with that? It looks like a Sharpay, right? Like a Sharpay tangerine, but they're good. Um, and grapefruit, I love grapefruit because it has lycopene and it helps your body to burn fat. So this is a great thing to eat for breakfast with some hard boiled eggs. So yes, I'm going to be getting some grapefruit. Okay, so my all time favorite things to eat are red peppers. Now, I only eat red, yellow, or orange red peppers. I do not eat the green ones because they're not ripe. And it's like eating an unripe fruit. So here, this is the orange one, which is a little bit wrinkly on the top, so I'm not gonna get that one. And then we have the yellow one. This is kind of too soft. I like it to be firm, so it's crunchy. So that's the thing about when you go organic. Um, you have to go where you can get it as fresh as you can, otherwise, they go bad in your refrigerator, in your fridge really fast. So, um, but like, again, like I don't take the skin off of bell pepper. I don't want to like really spend a lot of time washing it in that like, I don't know what that stuff is that's supposed to disinfect it. I'd rather just wash it with regular water and buy organic. So I'm going to get a red one, an orange one, and a yellow one. And I love them in salads. And actually, my kids love them too. I can just slice them up, just to slice this up, and we will eat it just like that easy peasy now you got to train your kids to do this early because then it saves you a lot of time and they're like I'm hungry you can go slice up a red pepper throw it on the plate and be like here <laughs> so and I do it myself and it's so delicious really so it has so many uh, nice uh, beta carotene and lots of minerals and vitamins and these beautiful uh, orange and red. The orange one is a kind of old so I'm just going to get the red one and the yellow one for today. And my other favorite thing to get is cucumbers. I like this one because it's all packaged up and I think this is a Persian cucumber. No, it's not a Persian cucumber but anyway, um, it's an English cucumber. Sorry, sorry. Um, this is the English cucumber. But these are like a little crunchier, um, a little harder and you have to get a really, really firm one. Don't get, um, make sure it's not squishy. It has to be firm 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 okay <laughs> all right so cucumbers and then fresh ginger if you ever are sick or something like this this is fresh ginger you can chop it off make sure you chop off this ugly part right here chop it off skin it 
and uh, boil it and add a little honey and have ginger honey tea. It's the best. So always keep some fresh ginger in your fridge. Here we go. Are you guys having fun? I'm having fun. All right, let's keep going. Bananas are the name of the game. You can eat one like super fast when you're on the go. Um, it's certainly better than cookies or chips or whatever. So I like to get smaller bananas. They don't go to waste. I buy them when they're kind of green and um, I don't necessarily buy organic because they have a thick skin. Alrighty. So one of the reasons why it would be really difficult for me to ever think about being like um, a vegan or a vegetarian is because I have a very close relationship with eggs. I love eggs. Um, I just love them. They're so easy and simple. They're great. They go with so many different things and I like to eat them almost every day. So, oh, it will be difficult for me without eggs. So I do like to choose a cage-free egg um, and I want to make sure that the chickens are like roaming free. So you have to choose, you know, what egg works best for you because again, like they make it hard for you. Like the food always costs so much more money than like if you like this large brown cage free grain free no grain fed so that's good so you want them out of the cage and you want them like eating grains if it just says eggs and um, that's the only eggs you can get right now okay well then maybe those are the only eggs you can get right now and that's cool but if you can make a splurge you know try and get like the pasture raised eggs that means the chickens are having a happy life and they're gonna have happy kids but let me tell you your wallet might not be as happy because you're gonna have to spend a few extra bucks to get um the the happy the happy eggs <laughs> so actually they have this uh happy rage it's like a uh, happy brand and it's true because it's free range and it's um grain fed and it's on the pasture and blah, 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 blah. So, you know, pick your egg based on what's on sale and what works for you. And I'm gonna make the best choice for me uh, today because I love eggs. So, you know, I get the best eggs I can. <laughs> A shout out to whoever invented pasta. I don't care if you are gluten-free, if you're keto, if you're Atkins or whatever. If you have kids, okay, you're going to be eating some pasta. So I'm on the pasta aisle because I don't know what I would do without pasta. My children, I think it's almost like you're right as a child to be able to eat pasta. Now, what kind of pasta do I buy? There's lots of different choices here. So um, you can do a gluten-free pasta. Hello. Um, and that's really good because it's made with brown rice and amaranth and quinoa and it's a lot healthier if you get your kids accustomed to eating it. So um, I do the gluten-free pasta and I also do gluten-free pancakes because it's good and it actually is a lot less heavy in your body. And then I don't feel so guilty about having the bites of it I'm eating some of their pasta. If I make pasta, I make it for the kids, not for myself. I do the zucchini um, instead of the pasta and I put the sauce on top of that. So I'm going to get the gluten-free pasta, but then I also have to get like some interesting shapes. So I like to get the rainbow swirls um, because it just makes me feel better when they have a lot of different colors. You know how I am about colors. It has like, it's just infused. It's not really vegetable, but it has infused um, uh, vegetables in it. They probably just make the color with dye, who knows what, but it makes me feel better. So I get the rainbow pasta, but here is like the real deal. This is about the pasta sauce, okay? I am super duper picky about the sauce because because my kids eat it so often, I do not want them just eating sugar. So if it has sugar in the ingredients, it's out for me. Like forget, no, zilch, not a high fructose corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, never, never. These are the things that I would look for. MSG, eh. that's monosodium glutamate. Those are certain ingredients that I absolutely will not buy. Um, anything that includes those, includes those ingredients. So, um, let's have a look at the sauces. Look at all of these different choices. Okay, so we're gonna start with my favorite pasta sauce, which is up there in price, but the Rayos. I absolutely love this one. Let's check out the ingredients. Okay. Um, 
and let's see where are they they're not on this side they are on this side so Italian whole peeled tomatoes olive oil fresh onions salt fresh garlic fresh basil black pepper dried oregano this is how I would make it myself this is why you have to spend the extra bucks sometimes now let me just take another pasta sauce and let's look at the directions on here so this one says tomatoes concentrated crushed tomatoes sugar that means sugar is the sex, second ingredient salt garlic olive oil basil onion butter not nah, sugar nah, i don't think so these white sauces i don't even do that i don't even look over here let's look at this one okay organic tomato puree that's just kind of like smashed up tomatoes but it's organic diced tomatoes and organic tomato juice organic soybean oil hmm cane sugar hmm Parmesan cheese, hmm, hmm. Uh, microbial enzymes, sexta virgin olive oil, onion powder, not real onions, garlic powder, not real garlic. So, you know what I'm saying about the pasta sauce? It's all not created equal. You have to read your labels. Read your labels. Um, I don't want to end up in court like Oprah did over the, uh, the meat. I can just tell you what I like and I can just share with you the information. I'm gonna tell you to read your ingredients on the pasta sauce. There's so many. So when you have time one day, go out and check it out. So we're in the meat section and I really don't make that much red meat. On occasion I'll eat it. It's not like I don't eat it. But what I do like to eat um, is ground turkey. I like a lot of ground turkey. It's on sale. And I do chicken thighs and chicken breasts. So here, like, uh, these are boneless thighs. They're a little bit juicier. Like if I'm gonna do a chicken sandwich for my kids, or if I do chicken breasts over brown rice, it cooks up really fast. Um, and then with the vegetable. So I like to do the free range. You see where it says free range chicken? Um, and then you can choose a brand that works well for you. Check your price. Um, find out if it's uh, certified, humane, organic, non-GMO, free range. That's how I like to uh, purchase my meat. Yes, it costs a little bit more, but this is your body and what's inside of your body is priceless. So you have to kind of weigh it out for yourself. Okay, so I'm on the cereal aisle. I don't really do cereal. I do oatmeal for my kids. So I get like regular oats. I put a little bit of cinnamon and I put a little bit of nutmeg. I slice some apples and I put it in there and bada bing, bada boom, we have cereal. So there we go. Oatmeal is the name of the game for me. That's the kind that I choose as far as snacks. I like the kind bars um, over here. I can't say that my kids love them, but I like them. And my kids also like these uh, That's It bars. So this is a really good snack. I think I'm gonna get some of these, especially for lunches because it's just, that's it, just a fruit. I like that, so I'm gonna get some of these, I think. Actually, right now. Yummy. Okay, you guys, so, I think we're gonna have to wrap this up because I've been in here for like an hour. I'm still shopping. I know you guys don't wanna be watching this video forever, but um, if you like the um, what's in my grocery cart, then um, we'll do it again sometime. I'll take you to the store with me because I didn't get everything. I still have to get my beans. I have to get my olive oil. I have to get my feta cheese, which is the cheese that I will eat and um yeah so there's a lot of stuff that i still have to do but we gotta go right <laughs> we have things to do and so hopefully um you enjoyed this episode and like i said i will have um my food plan available for you guys shortly as well as a new free workout schedule for you to follow all the workouts um on YouTube and if you want my entire workout library along with all of my food plans then just become a member of the Tiffany Roth Fit Club www.trfc.club that's www.trfc.club I love you guys bye